It's midday, almost mid-December, and I'm going to test these three solar panels and compare their results. These two on the left are folding panels with monocrystalline cells, and then this is a polycrystalline cell. It is supplied as a power source for an outside spotlight. All of them are rated for 20 watt output and roughly 6 volts at maximum power. Now these two on the left are intended to be used as USB chargers. They each have a dual outlet and one port is supposed to be rated at 1 amp, the other at 2 amps and together 3 amps at 5 volts only gives you 15 watt. So to get the maximum power available I had to modify this panel. This is the model that I'll be using as a sacrificial test unit. I'll hack it later and uh, see if I can boost the efficiency a little bit. But I basically cut it open, found the two main wires, spliced in leads and now I can tap off full power from a single terminal. I already have done extensive testing with this unit on the left. One day it got so hot, I think I measured the temperature at about 70 degrees centigrade on the surface and you can see it left a permanent deformation on that cell and it already doesn't have the same output voltage in low light as this panel over here. Today will be the first time that I compare them side by side in full sunlight. I'm also doing this intro inside for a very specific reason and that is to compare the performances when initially taken into the sun and then also after the panel has had time to warm up. This is my load for today. It's a homemade hot wire cutter. I'm using simple steel piano wire as a cutting element. To vary the power I have this copper lead that I can slide back and forth by varying the length of the conducting piece of the steel I can then effectively regulate the power drawn. I always like to calibrate the reading of these thermometers with the inside of my mouth. Okay, spot on. So now I know that whatever I measure can be referenced back to that. 36, 36, 36. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is the open circuit voltage and short circuit current. That's voltage right there, almost 7.8 volts. And let's short this out. There you go, short circuit current of 3.1. I'm going to leave this on short circuit for a minute or two to demonstrate what it does when it heats up. These panels heat up incredibly fast. Right, it had a minute or two to heat up. You can see there's a huge drop in voltage. Temperature is 65 degrees centigrade. Let me show you the the short circuit current. So, short circuit current up, voltage down when things heat up. Okay, you will most likely not see the power on this readout. I will shut that out. You can keep an eye out on the voltage and current. I'll switch it on. Now it's drawing 2.1 amp. Slowly cutting 11.8 watt. That is 13.4. That's 14 watt. 14 2. 14 2. 13. 11 5. Okay, so we got a nice readout range from both sides of the max power point. Next up is the new panel. That is that is short circuit current that you see there. And open circuit voltage. Slightly less current, slightly higher voltage. Let's have a look at the power. Switching on. Right off the bat, 
higher power with the full length of wire that's 13 watt 14 15 7 16 14 1 12 7 now this is where things get interesting the polycrystalline panel has already been out for a couple of minutes and the temperature is still only at 33 degrees C so it heats up very slowly in fact it was warmer inside than it is out in the breeze that is open circuit voltage and for short circuit I'm just going to short out the legs on the cutter 2.9 amp it's not quite short circuit voltage but uh, very close now to check power that's 12 watts 13 1 13 7 13 8 14 4 15 15 7 15 5 15 2 12 7 to demonstrate the effect of cooling a solar panel I've pulled out my test panel again switch on the hot wire cutter it's roughly at maximum power 14.4 watt the temperature on the panel is 55 degrees C and I've got some nice cold water that I'm going to spray that's already up to 15 watt Fifteen six, fifteen seven. Fifteen nine. So very, very clear advantage in keeping your panels cool. Just a quick look at today's test results and just to clarify that the two folding panels are identical they are not from different makes or different brands. The old warped panel is represented in yellow that was followed by the newer panel in red. And lastly, the polycrystalline panel in blue. The yellow marker fringed in black is the last test that was done on the old folding panel after cooling down with some cold water. The points indicated are the maximum power points for each panel. The cell area for the polycrystalline panel is also slightly larger than that for the folding panels. And when you finally calculate the efficiency, you get maximum power of 14.2 watt at 15.5% for the old folding panel. 16 watt at 17 and a half percent for the new panel and 15.7 watts at 16.1 percent efficiency for the polycrystalline panel these were not very well controlled test conditions i'll go into more specific discussion on efficiency in different conditions in a follow-up video